Today I fucked up by making a bad joke. Gents, sometimes it's just not worth it. My GF and I were having a nice quiet evening. We're talking nice weather, wine, with some comfy patio chairs, just enjoying each other's company. She made the abrupt comment of how were you not taken when I found you. It was a really sweet thing of her say, so of course my brain decided let's ruin the evening when I joked how do you know I'm not taken, you could be a mistress right now. My wicked smile died quicker than a depressurized sub at 13,000 feet when I turned and saw her face. She is not happy with me and I'm not sure how many flowers Starbucks it's gonna take make up for it. And now I have the privilege of warning you gentlemen to sometimes just be quiet. That's all, have a good night. TLD I made a bad joke and now I'm in the doghouse. Now I'm in the doghouse. If you're in your GF's doghouse, then you'll just have to go back to your wife for a few days until it blows over. Now you know why I was single. I once said to my wife you know you're lucky as I'm rather fussy about my women. Without missing a heartbeat, she fired back well, I guess you're just lucky that I'm not fussy about my men. Burned, my ego is still in therapy face with tears of joy. No worries, it can't be worse than the guy who joked about being a serial killer. I told my GF the same thing, but she was cool with it and now unironically calls herself my mistress. Much easier to live life openly. My wife and 2.6 kids always get over it. Died quicker than a depressurized sub at 13,000 feet. That's a titan of a bad joke if I ever saw one. No, you're not a mistress, but you're saddled with an idiot for a boyfriend. Sometimes, I like to take a night of pretty much guaranteed sex and instead turn it into a night where my masturbation is lubricated by my tears of failure tea worry, you're not alone. All jokes are fine as long as you know your audience. You don't know your audience. Couples banter like this all the time. But she was upset because she said something lovely and vulnerable and you didn't reply in kind. In Australia there's this great word dag. It means an idiot, foolish fellow, usually connected with someone trying to be funny and possibly failing. So the perfect repsence over here to the crestfallen wifey would be I'm sorry my love, I was just being a dag. Note a dag is also a piece of poo attached to a sheep's behind. As a married man of nine years myself, my desire is to be sympathetic. We've been there sometimes. But my internal monologue is just good god, you fucking nitwit. Good luck. Just save yourself by saying now you understand why I wasn't taken, I make these kinds of appalling jokes all the time. Just tell her your boneheaded sense of humor is the reason you were single when she found you. One it's self-deprecating, everyone knows that's hot. Two it assures her that she is not in fact a mistress, but rather your only girl. Three it establishes that as you are lacking in the social skills department, she is unlikely to have to worry about your fidelity as no other suitor would consider you an acceptable mate. Problem solved. You're welcome OP. I have to say it really sucks when I'm trying to be sweet and emotional with my BF and he cracks a lame ass joke in response. Makes me feel like he doesn't feel the same way and very stupid for being vulnerable. I hope you think about your response next time you go to open your mouth after your GF is trying to emotionally connect with you. Brew, who TF still thinks that material gifts fix things? What fixes things is communication. Go to her and explain that you thought it was going to be funny, and that you weren't thinking about how she might feel. Women who clap back with sarcasm and wit and move on are the best ones on the planet, in my opinion. My friend is exactly like that and whenever we tease each other, she has some fantastic comebacks. I absolutely adore her. One time, I was messing with her about how women never accept their mistakes. She well, I accept your stupid ass daily. Face with tears of joy. Oh brother, you did not f up. She needs to lighten up. 
A crack like that nothing more than a playful love tap and a mild insult back. You were like three minutes away from being blown and, it was pretty funny though. She reacted like that because she was feeling insecure and wanted validation, so the joke hit at a vulnerable moment. Flowers and chocolate sure, but don't forget the primary goal is not to get pardoned, the goal is to reassure her. Getting pardoned can only come later, forgiving people is something done by someone who feels secure. How many Starbucks? This is the most American way to forgive someone. Dude, that's how my fiancé let slip he was cheating. Women look for signs like that. You should apologize and tell her how much you love her. My wicked smile died quicker than a depressurized sub at 13,000 feet. Dot too soon soon. Too soon with the sub joke as well. You've got a real knack for this. Elm foul we've all been there. A tip for the future, use a really sarcastic voice when you say something like that next time. Think the most sarcastic you can be, then double it. Or just don't make them, safer option. I dated a girl who told me that she put so much effort in one of her presents to her boyfriend, a disc with all his favorite music, in a beautiful case decorated with photos and stuff, and when she gave it to him all happy he said where's the garbage bin. So stupid joke to say. My experience is this whenever my wife gives me a compliment, it's not the time to crack a joke. She has the same wicked humor as I do, but, and I cannot stress this enough, there's a time and a place. In fact, she is the one who told me that. Anyway, when she compliments, compliment back. This is coming from a guy whose superpower is knowing the exact wrong thing to say at any given time. Yeah, it only takes getting cheated on once to make the topic no longer funny at all. Don't understand why popular culture makes it seem like a light-hearted foible it crushes adults and ruins childhoods. Should have said because I was looking for you and you might be the one getting flowers. At least now she knows why you were single. A little banter in relationships is okay IMO, and I don't think you did anything wrong. IDK, I would have giggled at this joke and playfully smacked you. She needs to lighten up a little. But you know going forward you can't make those jokes. Well. If this sort of joke is not a one-off incident, and you actually have a dark wicked sense of humor, it could be an early indicator that she doesn't share your sense of humor. Just saying. Hope it works out. How is the dog taking it? How are people not realizing this was just a medium to make a missing submarine joke? I laughed under the pressure can't lie. Never ask a question you may not like the answer to. The remark that it was a joke is enough, there's zero need to drop to your knees and kiss her feet. In fact, the more you do that the more often you'll be in the doghouse. Being that this is Reddit, I recommend immediately going no contact. The trick is to say a lot of stupid things constantly, so that way she gets used to the stupid statements and eventually begins laughing at them. And make sure you say them in the stupidest way as well. Then you can continue not thinking about things and she'll at least laugh. I have worked this out a lot and dumb things barely get a pass. I even make them seem intentional. Her not finding that funny would worry me. My friend, you have just learned one of the most important rules of a healthy relationship. It's not just about saying the right thing at the right time, it's about leaving unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. The proper response to that is I have a very particular set of skills. An apology of the reason I wasn't taken is because I have an absolutely abhorrent sense of humor and timing. LOL. Totally self-inflicted. Wife bad now give calm. Seems like you just explained to her why you were still available. Writes today I fucked up by making a bad joke, promptly makes unnecessary bad joke about five people dying at the bottom of the ocean during the telling of his story about telling an unnecessary bad joke to his